Hi everybody and welcome back to The Upper Room. This week we're talking about three very special sacramentals that lay people can use that, and that also priests use as well. These three sacramentals are blessed salt, holy water, and oil. These three sacramentals um, that are derived from the Bible and from Christ can become powerful weapons against evil spirits. Now the water and the oil and the salt are not powerful on their own. And um, lots of people may have this idea that, oh, well, this is superstition. It's not superstition because it's, it depends on the origin of where it comes from. Is it originated from God? Does it originate from Christ? Does it come to us from the Bible? If these are the cases, then its origin is from God. So these things can be used for us, for our benefit. And for lots and lots of years, exorcists have used um, these sacramentals and even instructed others who have had issues in their house with strange phenomena happening to use these sacramentals, as well as others who are dealing with types of um, uh, demonic oppression and uh, having family members who are demonically uh, uh, possessed uh, that will come back and forth to seeing the exorcist to have several exorcisms done. They'll be instructed to have these sacramentals and the exorcist will bless them with the proper blessing of exorcism and, but, and also um, for them to have in their home to help uh, with their problem. Uh, there is a book out called An Exorcist Tells a Story by Father Gabriel Lamorth where he talks in that book about many different stories and incidences that he's had when dealing with the demonic and dealing with people who are dealing with these kinds of problems. Um, you know, uh, it has lots of positive results and it all comes from God. So uh, I highly recommend you guys get yourself some salt, oil, and water. You can go onto the internet, you can print out the Roman rite of blessing of exorcism for salt, water, and oil. You can take it to uh, your local priest. I highly recommend that you make an appointment to uh, see that priest to have these things blessed because the priest has to wear his purple stole and he has to um, uh, give it the proper blessing, not just a little wave of the hand and stuff. It, it, it's a little bit more in depth than that. Uh, so where do these things come from? These sacramentals are talked about in the Bible. Uh, Jesus himself said that we are the salt of the earth and if salt loses its saltiness it is no good other than to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. He also talks about uh, anointing people with oil and that when he sent forth uh, his 12 disciples as well as the other 70 disciples who were sent out two by two to cast out demons the Bible says that they were healing many people and anointing them with oil. Uh, oil Anointing is talked about several times in the Old Testament. God specifically instructs Moses to anoint his brother Aaron. Uh, there's lots of separate uh, things in the Bible that that talks about the anointing of oil. It's, some, it's a practice that God uses. Water, holy water, reminds us of baptism. The power of baptism is strong enough to wash away um, all of our past transgressions and original sins because of Jesus' death on the cross. It's Christ who instituted this sacrament. He told Nicodemus uh, that if, unless someone is reborn again of water and of the Spirit, they will by no means see the kingdom of God. So these three sacramentals remind us of these sacraments. They are items to be used by lay people and priests in accordance with our faith. It is the reason why lay people can use these sacramentals is simply because the sacramentals themselves have the prayer of exorcism upon them, asking for God's grace to bless the items that we can use. No prayers are needed, nothing like that. All we have to do, we can say a prayer if we want to, but all we have to do is use them in specific places in our home, on our family, and things like that uh, in order for certain places to be blessed. Because it's the oil itself that's blessed, it's the water itself that's blessed, it's the, it's the salt itself that's blessed by the grace of God. And we ask him for his power upon these things for our use. So thanks again for watching The Upper Room. Pick yourself up some 
salt, water, and oil, and go and have it blessed to have it protect your home. Thanks. <laughs>